We're talking to Mr. Kenneth Kane, and the uh, issue is the Nashville uh, uh, Black Coalition. Na Nashville Black Coalition, of course, uh, the purpose of that uh, coalition, as you've indicated, uh, Ms. Kane, is to try to focus mm -hmm. <coughs> on issues that are of some concern to uh, African Americans uh, in uh, various communities across the nation. But now, one of the uh, real issues that we've had to uh, deal with has to do with uh, a large number of young people, especially African American males, mm -hmm. who have been disfranchised mm -hmm. primarily because of uh, their connection or their uh, uh, contact mm -hmm. with the uh, criminal justice system. Let's talk about uh, the impact that that is having mm -hmm. upon Africans, okay. African Americans. Right, right. Well, um, as it turns out with me, I was driving down 8th Avenue one evening, mm -hmm. and I got pulled over by a cop, mm -hmm. and he asked for my license and all this stuff. So I gave him all of that, and he told me that, um, that there's a warrant out for my arrest mm -hmm. for a ticket that I had not paid, a traffic ticket. I believe it was a parking ticket. And so, of course, I assured the man that I had paid that ticket, and, you know, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, I was arrested. He took me downtown, and, <clears throat> you know, they booked me. And so there I was, you know, uh, you know uh, in shock. Mm -hmm. And then I noticed the, I was surrounded by brothers. Mm -hmm. Uh, young brothers, older brothers, you know, mm -hmm. not just African Americans, you know, there, of course, there were whites there, mm -hmm. uh, a few Hispanics, but primarily it was young African American males. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so as I sat there, um, after several hours, it, it dawned on me that these fellas may not have gone to Tennessee State University. Mm -hmm. You know, many of them didn't finish high school. Mm -hmm. And many of them didn't appear to have a lot of money to really afford any kind of legal help, mm -hmm. you know. And so it dawned on me that um, we are in grave, great trouble. Okay. And mm -hmm. so um, I was touched by that. Um, my, my spirit was moved, mm -hmm. I, I have to say. And so when I, w I went to a meeting with our group mm -hmm. and told my story. I was traumatized by it, by the way. Never been arrested before, you know. Mm -hmm. and so um, we felt moved to do something about this issue of felling the uh, disenfranchisement and so as we uh, did research talked to lawyers we found out that no one's really dealing with this issue mm -hmm. and that um, it's affecting millions and millions of people all across the country mm -hmm. i think tennessee um uh had at least a hundred thousand people uh, that fall into that category yes yes uh -huh. and so but now most of the crimes were for little petty crimes they were not for um violent crimes they were things like maybe having a small amount of I don't know, marijuana, mm -hmm. uh, things like that. Um, and so what, what really shocked us was what it did in essence, mm -hmm. uh, they were experiencing sort of a death in terms mm -hmm. of uh, our society. You know, we mm -hmm. call it civil death. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm in the 18th century okay. in Europe where they could find a way to kind of um, weed people out of the political structure. Mm -hmm. And so that's what a felony does for people. I mean, you can't vote, but not only that, you can't get school loans, you can't get college loans, mm -hmm. um, you can't get business loans. Govern anything from the government in the real sense. It's right. <coughs> and so its impact, of course, on the family structure, mm -hmm. when you have a wife, mm -hmm. you know, children, uh, and, and, and yet you're faced with this um, awesome impediment of being locked out of society. Mm -hmm. you know? That's exactly what it is. Yeah, uh -huh. yes, mm -hmm. yes. And so um, uh, since that time, we have been assembling uh, various lawyers around town. You know, mm -hmm. we set up shop at a library, someplace like that, or mm -hmm. at a church. And, we, and then we try to help those to get their lives back, to get their rights back mm -hmm. as citizens. Um, I'm amazed that, um, of course, you've been in the civil rights movement mm -hmm. um, during that era. And yet, people's voting rights have just been stripped away, mm -hmm. and, and nothing is really um, not enough, I would say. Okay. Uh -huh. It's being done to really address this issue because it's also about economics. It's also about education. Mm -hmm. So it's a very, very pregnant issue mm -hmm. that we feel like um, is a structural mm -hmm. uh, problem that we have that must be addressed structurally. You know, mm -hmm. through the law. Okay. Because, mm -hmm. because legally. Through legislation. Exactly, uh -huh. exactly. Mm -hmm. And of course, some states are doing that now. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, woefully not enough. But this is a real problem. I think we've talked about that. And I think you said, what, uh, at least 100,000 yes, individuals in, in yes. the state of Tennessee yes, have yes, fallen. Which is to say that these individuals, in a real sense, have been really locked, as you've indicated, locked out. Uh, they mm -hmm. can't vote. 
They mm -hmm. can't get loans. They can't, in a real sense, uh, they can't get a job. Uh, do you find in your group that, uh, as I've been informed by others, mm -hmm. that those individuals who become involved in this, uh, in a real sense, uh, have, uh, can't not only cannot get a job, but in a real sense, have almost been locked out of society? Uh, yes. Um, in fact, um, the part that really bothers me, I get phone calls from some of these gentlemen mm -hmm. um, who have gotten out. You know, they tell me that, um, you know, when I was 17, mm -hmm. I had a small joint on me. You know, that was 30 years ago, mm -hmm. okay? Um, I'm married, but I can't keep a job. I have children. Mm -hmm. I've, I've done my time, okay? Mm -hmm. But yet, I don't have access to the American dream, okay. so to speak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do I do now? Mm -hmm. You know, and these guys go to the churches and and so they uh, experience, as I said, sort of a death mm -hmm. in a sense. It is, a civil death. A civil death. death. Mm -hmm. and so we've um, tried to address this. And in fact, we continue to, to try to address this issue, but also to tell the story that, hey, we have a, uh, a bona fide democratic issue mm -hmm. here. It that, is. Okay? Mm -hmm. That really um, is unconstitutional mm -hmm. when you get down to the bottom of mm -hmm. it. It cannot be legal. In other words, the person who serves his time mm -hmm. has... Uh, as far as society is concerned, has paid his debt to society. They, they pay their duty. <coughs> but as, as, as far as the rest of the folks are concerned in terms of dealing with him, mm -hmm. he's still the same criminal that he was the day he was judged. Mm -hmm. is, that, is, is that the attitude that most folks have? Is yes, it is. In fact, um, it's not just men anymore, though. Mm -hmm. A lot of women. Oh, caught up. Yeah, see, I didn't, we didn't know A, a lot of yeah. African-American women. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, 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 say uh, something about that. We didn't know that. Quite a number of students have come to us, mm -hmm. students in college right now who have a felony on their records, um, they, but see, part of the problem is that the, uh, the route back to getting their rights, mm. uh, for instance, uh, if you owe any kind of back child support, okay, uh -huh. okay you got to pay that first. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Which, of course, if you spent a year behind bars or two years or ten years behind bars, then that money has accumulated. That's you know. right. And you, uh, so therefore, you're really locked out in that manner, uh -huh. just economically. Uh -huh. So it's very discriminatory, um, and we have to try to address it in some uh -huh. way. You know, we're, we're coming up for this uh, second commercial break, uh, after which we'll, give, we'll, we'll have an opportunity to uh, do this third segment, and we can get into uh, de in greater depth in, in reference to this. But I think that some of the things that you're talking about now are some of the common problems mm -hmm. that we've heard mm -hmm. in reference to this as a real issue, and it's an issue, as you indicated, that ought to be addressed mm -hmm. in a more forthright manner mm -hmm. by the uh, legislative process. Of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. We're talking to Mr. Cam